Welcome to Scotland Unplugged, and how a misunderstanding in this cemetery led to one of the greatest Christmas stories of all time. This is the Canongate Kirkyard. Dates back to 1691 and the Covenanters, and it's full of historical stuff. But one day in the 19th century, a writer came to Edinburgh and happened upon the churchyard. The writer saw an inscription on a gravestone go on to inspire a story. Yep, you guessed it. The inscription in question read, Here lies John McLean, a man who came out to the coast for a few laughs. It didn't really. The inscription he saw read, Here lies Ebenezer Lennox Scroggy, Mule Man. Dickens, being slightly short-sighted, read it as, Here lies Ebenezer Scrooge, mean man. Dickens, being a writer and therefore naturally curious, was very intrigued with the notion that somebody could be so mean that they actually wind up with it on their gravestone. I mean, how bad would you actually have to be? As well as selling meal, he also sold whiskey. Some of his clients included Walter Scott and the King. Scroggy wasn't a mean man at all. In fact, story goes he was quite the life and soul of the party. Christmas daft. Probably. And that's how Charles Dickens came up with a Christmas carol. Always a classic, probably my favourite, apart from Die Hard, obviously. Chapter 1 Marley was dead. I think we might stick with the Muppets version for now. 